In this problem, we have to find the Laplace transform of the convolution. So we have the Laplace of the convolution of the functions t squared and t times e to the t. So there's something called the convolution theorem, which says whenever you do this, all you have to do is compute the product of the Laplace transforms. So this is the Laplace of t squared times the Laplace of t times e to the t. Good stuff. So for the Laplace of t squared, remember the formula says you take whatever is here and that becomes a factorial. So it's 2 factorial and then on the bottom it's always 1 higher. So s cubed, right? You add 1. The formula, in case you forgot, is the Laplace of t to the n is equal to n factorial over s. And then again, it's 1 higher on the bottom. Easy way to memorize it. And then for this one here, we have to do uh, a little bit more work. We'll use the first translation theorem, or the shifting theorem. We have t times e to the t, so what you can do is you can drop the exponential and then replace it with a shift. So the shift will take s to s minus 1. And the reason it's 1 is because there's a 1 here, okay, and there's a 1 there. So the rule is, or the theorem says, if you have f of t times e to the a t. This is the same thing as the Laplace of f of t. And then you do a shift. You take s and you shift it to s minus a. You translate it. Okay, So that's called the first translation theorem. So we're using it here in the case where a is equal to 1. Kind of nice, right? We start with the convolution problem and then it turns into a problem with the first translation theorem. Okay, let's keep going. So 2 factorial is 2, so that will stay there. So this is 2 over s cubed. Here we're going to use the same formula we used before. So it'll be 1 factorial over, and then it's 1 higher on the bottom, so s squared. And then we still have our shift. I'm going to put brackets here just to emphasize that our shift is only taking place uh, on, on this piece here. <laughs> it's really easy to mess up and shift the other piece. That would be super bad. Um, so this is equal to... 2 over s cubed, and then times, now we're going to go ahead and replace s with s minus 1. So it's 1 over, and then parentheses, s minus 1 quantity squared. And that is a good answer. If you want, you can write it as a single fraction. Let's do that. 2 times 1 is 2 over, and then on the bottom we'll have s cubed, parentheses, s minus 1 squared. And that'll be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.